it's Ariel and today I'm coming to you guys with a Makeup Monday and for today's Makeup Monday I will be doing a review first impression basically my first time opening up something and it's just gonna be these lipsticks and they're the nude lipsticks by the brand Bonita if you guys are new to my channel make sure that you guys hit that subscribe button down below and turn on your post notifications If you guys have not seen my video that I did, my January favorites, and if you guys would like to see that video, I'll leave that in the description box down below so you guys can see. As I'm looking at these colors, they pretty much look like similar colors to the other ones that I used. So make sure that you guys check it out if you guys are interested in these colors. Okay, so now I have it open, and this is actually something that I got for Christmas. So... I'll see the colors. The packaging kind of reminds me of NYX packagings for their lipsticks. And it just basically looks like this. You know, it has like the black and the clear and the writing on it. So, I'm going to start off with this looks like a Barbie pink color. Um, The packaging doesn't even say what color it is. So, that's like one of the only things that I don't like about this already is because they I don't know what the colors are because what if I end up liking one of the colors and I want to get it again you know okay so this is just how it looks and I'm gonna do a swatch mm. yeah I can definitely tell that th that these are butter lipsticks the color is like a Barbie pink um, it's really nice and pigmented, but even though it's a butter, it kind of looks like, um, it reminds me of lip gloss more. So you could definitely tell that it's a butter. Next, we just have like this nice nude color. And this color actually reminds me of, um, I, uh, Taupe by MAC. And that's one of my favorite lipsticks by MAC. And this one just reminds me of the color. I'm not sure if when you apply it, is it going to be the same or not? But let's find out. No, it's most definitely not. When you apply it, it's most definitely not the exact same color as the one from MAC called Taupe. But this is just another pink color. It looks like a nude, but it's you can tell that... The hint of pink is there. Okay, so the next color in here, um, by me just looking at it, it looks like a nice dark purple color. It looks like a really nice dark purplish reddish color. Oh my gosh, y'all. This color is so beautiful, but that's the thing. I just don't know what the name of of the colors are. I'm pretty sure if I Googled it. As you guys can see, that is a really, like, really, really major difference in the colors compared to the other two swatches that I did. The other two colors, as you guys can see, are actually, like, nice pink colors closer to a nude. This is actually the only dark color that they have in here, but I'm obsessed with it. Definitely can do some nighttime makeup looks with that. The next one I have is, I don't really know how to describe this. It looks like a pinkish color, but it's like a really dark one. But I might be fooled by this one too, because I didn't expect that other, I didn't expect the other one to be as pigmented either, or dark. Oh, you guys. This one is really pretty. It kind of, this color actually reminds me of something that I used to mix. I used to mix Studded Kiss by MAC and Rouge by NYX. And it gives you this beautiful hot pink color. So that kind of is what it reminds me of. So basically overall with all these colors, my favorite one, as you guys may know, 
is this beautiful red color that I showed you guys. Um, I don't know how I feel about the second shade I showed you guys, the one that looks more of a nude color, just because I feel like nudes, I, I don't really like, I'm not a nudes type of person, so if you guys love nudes and stuff like that, then definitely recommend that one to you guys, but, um, the Barbie doll pink one and the other pink, like I told you guys, are really beautiful colors, but I definitely love the dark red color, and I feel like the Bonita brand did an amazing job with that color. The only thing I wish is that they would have put the colors, like, what's the name of each different butter lipstick, at least on the packaging or on the boxes, because I have no idea what the name of these colors are or how to even describe these colors to y'all. Like, the colors are literally nowhere to be found. But I definitely would recommend this to you guys if you guys like a range of nude to a really dark red color um but if you guys don't really like butter lipsticks or anything like that i don't i wouldn't recommend you guys getting it but i'm probably gonna end up wearing these sometime over the weekend or something like that and i'll probably let you guys know if like how i feel about them but by these being a butter lipstick it's probably not going to stay on as long if you eat because you know these aren't actually matte lipsticks these are butter lipsticks and butter lipsticks work way differently and they come off way easier so that's it for my first impressions video on the bonita butter lipsticks if you guys enjoyed this video make sure that you guys give it a big thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already don't forget to turn on your post notifications, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure that you guys are following me on Instagram at Ari underscore life. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.